Hi, I'm Chris Hurley, a technical marketing engineer at NetApp. We're going to demonstrate the usefulness of FlexCache in your hybrid cloud story and how it can help your journey into a hybrid cloud infrastructure. First, let's back up and refresh on what FlexCache actually is. For that, we need to look at the story of data in an enterprise. When an enterprise starts out, they start with a single data center with users local to the data center. It's a neat and encapsulated ecosystem where access is local and fast. But growing businesses don't always stay this small for long. Remote offices are open globally, and those offices need to store and retrieve data. When needing to access the main data center from remote locations, or accessing the remote data from the main location, access can be slow and painful. Eventually, the need arises for additional data centers, be it for disaster recovery or replication of data, so that it's faster for the global users and applications. Now you have a data locality issue. Moving to a hybrid cloud infrastructure with one or more hyperscalers has brought new data challenges with data silos between clouds, regions within a cloud, and on-prem. FlexCache is a data technology that can solve the challenges of the data silos and management issues brought by this growth and evolution. What it does is extend the reach of a single data container or volume to any instance of ONTAP by creating a sparse writable cache volume with links back to the origin. You're essentially creating a replica volume without the need to worry about syncing, the need for data protection, or any other management needs since they are already sorted out at the origin volume. You can take an existing volume from any ONTAP instance, be it AFF, FAS, Select, or Cloud, create a flex cache on the same ONTAP cluster to increase local performance, on Cloud Volumes ONTAP to bring data to cloud resources, another engineered FAS or AFF system for access in remote data centers or remote offices with hardware footprint, or ONTAP Select to bring data wherever a small footprint is available, such as robo sites. Today, we're going to demonstrate how FlexCache can be an enabler to move toward a hybrid cloud infrastructure without the risk of having your data move completely to the cloud and how it can benefit cloud services by increasing performance. We've just created an EC2 Linux instance in Amazon's AWS US East 1 region and have created a cloud volumes on tap instance in that same cloud region. We also have an on-prem AFF system with a data volume that holds data sets I would like to extend to the cloud. Traditional methods suggest that in order to share the data between cloud and on-prem resources, the data can only sit in one location. We have chosen to mount the on-prem data from the EC2 instance. In this case, the on-prem NFS server is called Origin. Let's copy a 1 gig file from the origin to the local disk on the EC2 Linux instance to simulate reading that file from an application and see how long it takes to read. For interest of time, I've sped it up and we see that it takes about 45 seconds to read a 1 gig file from the origin. Performance isn't bad, but let's see what happens when we create a flex cache in Cloud Volumes on tap. In order to create a flex cache on CVO, I need to peer the CVO instance with our AFF on-prem on tap instance. This is the same cluster peer relationship that is established for SnapMirror, so if the on tap instances are already peered, skip ahead to the next step. Peering is done by logging into the system manager of the CVO instance where I want to create the flex cache volume and creating the peer relationship. System manager will guide you through the process step by step. On the left hand side, expand the configuration section and click on cluster peers. Then click on create. On this screen, you can then select the IP space and inner cluster lift CVO will use in the relationship. Submit and continue. Enter the origin's cluster information, such as inner cluster lifts and cluster management lift. Then clicking on the link provided will pop up the system manager of the origin system so a passphrase can be generated. Copy that passphrase onto the clipboard, close the origin system manager window, and paste the passphrase into the peering page for the FlexCache cluster and initiate cluster peering. Next, we need to peer the SVMs. If the SVMs are already peered for SnapMirror, I'll show you how to validate the FlexCache is selected as a peer application in a bit. On the right, select the SVM that owns the origin volume and initiate SVM peering. 
Then enter the cluster management LIF IP and click on the link provided to accept the SVM peer on the origin. Log in, select the origin SVM, select more actions, and accept the SVM peer. Return to the CVO system manager and validate the SVM peering. Now we have peered the cluster and the SVM. If the SVMs were already peered, ensure the FlexCache is a selected application. On the left menu, expand Configuration, select SVM Peers, select the SVM, and click on Manage Peering Applications. Make sure FlexCache is checked. Now it's time to create the FlexCache volume. On the left hand navbar, expand Storage, click on Volumes, then click on Create, and create flex cache. This will bring up a screen to select the origin volume. Ensure the cluster and SVMs on this page are the ones you want, then select the origin volume. If you wish, you can change the name of the flex cache volume or the size before you hit save. Hit save and you're done. System Manager defaults to size the flex cache volume at 10% of the size of the origin. We have found this is the most common size of the data working set needed at the cache. Refer to FlexCache documentation for further size recommendations. When you click on the volume, you can see the regular volume information and you can see some basic information about the origin volume the cache is connected to. Now we can mount the FlexCache volume we created on our CVO instance to our EC2 instance. It's ready, no waiting. I'm mounting the FlexCache to the EC2 instance and I'm copying the same 1 gig file locally to mimic the application file read as we did in the origin. As you can see, the FlexCache volume is identical to the origin volume and there is no initial transfer overhead. I've not sped up this part of the video. The time it took to access the FlexCache volume after creation is instantaneous. As we can clearly see, the first read of the same 1 gig file is about 20 seconds. That's even an improvement from the 45 seconds we saw going all the way to the origin. Now, this first read improvement may not happen all the time, but FlexCache does have the opportunity to accelerate even the first read due to its architecture. Now, I'm unmounting and remounting the FlexCache volume to clear all the client caches so I can transfer that one gig file once more and see the performance once the file is cached locally to the CVO instance. As you can see here, the second transfer only takes about 15 seconds. That's close to 1 gig line speed. As you've seen today, FlexCache has great benefits for your hybrid cloud journey. Thank you for watching. Now go and be a data visionary.